Okay, so in this lesson, we're going to look how to find the center of mass in a 2D discrete system. So in this case, if you look to the right here in this figure, um, we have three mass points. Okay, uh, the first one at you have a mass of ten located one at one four, mass two is at two minus three, and mass three is at negative four zero. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly label those. So we have mass one here, mass two, and mass three. So the goal again is to locate the equilibrium point. In other words, where is the point in here? Where is the point that makes the system in balance or what we call in, in equilibrium? So you can kind of think of this as a piece of paper with various mass points on it. And you want to find out where the balance point is. Where is the point of balance? Where is the fulcrum that we need to find to make the system in, 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 in equilibrium? So let me go ahead and write the the general. So in this case, it's going to be a coordinate. Okay. So x bar. So we can use the same we can use the same approach uh, for the one D system, but in this case, the center of mass will be a coordinate now, not a point. So x bar will be the moment about y divided by the total mass. And y bar will be the moment about x divided by the total mass. All right, so let's calculate the moment about y first. Okay, so the moment about y, so now you got to think of this, and since it's in two dimensions now, so the, the y-axis is going to be your central, it's going to be, it's going to act as the center, the, the balance, the balance point. Okay, it's basically, it's just the, in this case, the y-axis. And the plane is balancing on that y-axis. So to get the moment of y, you're going to take the weight, I'm sorry, not the weight, the masses at each point and multiply it by the x value. Because the x value is the distance, represent the distances from, from the y from the y axis. Okay. So the moment of y, okay, for the first one, so it's going to be the mass, so for mass 1, Okay, for mass 1, we have 10, okay, and in that case, I have, so since it's the moment about y, it's the distance from the y-axis. So that's this small distance here, okay, which is the x value, so that's going to be 1, okay. Plus the next one, mass two. So mass two is a value of two. And that is a distance of two units from the y-axis. And then for the third mass, the third point, it is, and that mass value is 5. And that is minus 4 units to the left of the origin. All right, so we're going to get 10 plus 4 plus 20. So that gives us, actually, it's, oh, it's actually negative 4. Sorry about that. So it's 10 plus 4 minus 20. So that's going to give us a total of negative 6. And again, that's mass 5, right? So mass, so the mass, the third mass is located 5, it's, it's located 3 units, I'm sorry, 4 units to the left of the origin. So that's the moment about y, okay? So we're gonna do the same idea for the moment about x. 
All right, starting with the first one, okay? The first one, we had a mass of 10, okay? And in this case, since it's the moment about x, right? So that means we need the distances from the x-axis, and those are in terms of the y values. So for the first mass, okay, that is right, located four units from the x-axis. The second one, okay, the second mass is two, okay, and that is located three units below the x-axis. Okay. Okay, for the third mass of 5, that is, since that particular mass is directly on the x-axis, so in that case, um, it's zero distance from, from the x. Okay, so just zero. All right, so we're going to get 40 minus 6 plus 0. So that's going to give you a total of 34. All right, um, so we have the moment about y and the moment about x. So remember that the moment, of, the moments about y, right? Those you need to use the distance from the y-axis, okay? And the moments about x, those are going to be the distance from the x-axis, okay? So now the total mass. In this case, just add these up. The total mass from here. This is going to be 10 plus 2 plus 5. So that's going to give you a total of 17. Okay. So now we apply. We can apply the formulas for x bar and y bar. And again, those formulas are just, they basically come from the, the idea of a one-dimensional discrete, discrete system. So x bar, in this case, okay, it's going to be the moment about y divided by the total mass and y bar is going to be in this case 34 which is the moment about x divided by 17 and that's going to reduce to 2 so the total mass right so I'm sorry so the total the center of mass is going to be minus 16 right minus 6 7 over 17 comma 2 so that's about if you're to look on the grid okay that's about at this point so minus 6 over 17 and up two units so it's about in this region so that's that's where the system is in equilibrium